Hey guys, so we are back in front of my mirror today, gonna be doing some more makeup. I really have been into doing makeup lately, even though they are very neutral-esque looks, but I think a lot of you guys like these natural makeup looks, so let them commence. I cut my hair. I like it, I think it's cute. So we'll just tuck that back behind the ears for now. I have some new makeup that I want to play with. But yeah, let's do that. We'll of course be using some favorites, but we will also try out some new stuff. First, actually, I want to give a shout out to these necklaces. They were purchased from an Etsy shop. I will leave the links down below, but they are the prettiest, daintiest necklaces. I actually wore these two for my wedding. I've been wearing these so much and I absolutely love them. If you guys are on the lookout for like dainty jewelry, highly recommend. Let's prime first because that's boring and we all know what primer I'm using. I just can't get away from this stuff. It's so good. I love it. Oh wait, I actually, I need a sponge. One second. Sponge has been gotten. This is by Sonia Kashuk, by the way. I think someone asked that in my last video. I just got this Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the first and only Charlotte Tilbury product that I have. I really like this. I have the shade 3, which is light medium. This is an amazing highlight. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a primer. I honestly, I don't know what this is exactly, but I basically just use this to highlight my face. I'll put it under my brow bone, it's a little bit above my brows. This blends out really easily with your fingers, by the way. Another new product I have is this RMS Uncover Up Concealer. I wear the shade 22. I was very proud of myself because I got like a perfect match and I ordered this online. This reminds me of the Glossier Stretch Concealer, but not as dewy and it has more coverage. So if you like that, but you want maybe a little more coverage or it not to be so dewy, uh, you would really like this. I'm very, very impressed with this concealer. It's one of my new favorites. And then I'll just put a little bit on some redness I have on my chin, around my nose. I went a little bit crazy because of the sales that Sephora has been having. And then Black Friday, Nude Sticks was having a sale, so I ordered some stuff from them. So it's just been a really fun time. Not for my wallet, though. Let's use these two new nude sticks pencils that I actually just got today. I have not used these yet. I got the colors Terra and Fig. So I'm just going to put Terra all over my lids. Let's add some to the bottom lash line. Fig is more of like a nude like 90s ish shade almost. Start with this at the lash line first. You know what, I'm going to put this in the crease too. Just kind of like dot it. You could totally leave this as is. I probably would most days, but I did get this new NARS duo. This is the Cordura. I know it's brown, but like these are gorgeous. These are so beautiful. I'm just going to take the same brush and take the Cordura one shade. I'm just kind of like tap this over the center of the eye. And then just to add a bit at the lash line, I'm gonna take this darker shade in here and just kind of stamp this on towards the outer corner. To finish off the eyes, I got this little Chanel mascara sample. I have no idea where this is from, but I will try it. It's the Le Volume de Chanel mascara. I'm a little upset I like this so far. Lashes are bad. They're really bad right now, so. I, I don't want to buy that. Now I'm going to set my face with some powder. This is the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. This adds a glow, but it's not anything overly obnoxious. I really like this. I like that this doesn't make your skin flat. It sets it without making it look like cakey and flat, especially during the winter. Your skin's already dry as hell, so you don't need that. Next up is bronzer. I have the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. And I use my e.l.f. stipple brush with this. Take this down my neck. I look a little less dead perfect. For highlight, I am using the NARS highlighter in Ibiza. This is a really, really pretty highlight. Just put a crap ton on. For blush, I'm going to take this Nudies All Over Face Color in, in the nude. Just a nice nude. This I just got today. 
I want to take a little bit more of this highlight and actually just kind of run it through my brows over here. I'm going to put a little bit of lip balm on whilst I do my brows. This is the Glossier Birthday Bomb.com. So for my brows, I am using my Milk Makeup Gel Brow Pencil. You just need really, really light strokes with this. Lately, I've also been filling in the bottom of my brows, which is something that I really haven't done for a while. I was really just focusing on the top, but I have all this like regrowth underneath. Okay, I think that looks good. So we can set them with my Glossier Boy Brow. For the final step, I am using this new lip pencil by Bite, and this is in the shade 036. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more natural-ish glam, natural, everyday, there we go, everyday, wearable, makeup looks. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.